Live from Nasdaq's market site, I'm your host, Christina Ayanian, and joining me today is CEO and co-founder of Unifor, Umesh Sachdev. Umesh, thank you so much for joining us. Christina, it's great to be with you. Thank you for having me. Now, Unifor has really been making waves in the industry, and you've become a trusted partner in providing businesses with seamless client experiences. How so? Can you talk a little bit about Unifor and what you do? Christina, uh, we've been around 15 years. We're a company whose vision from the beginning has been to use AI to be the defining AI and data platform for the entire enterprise. Anywhere that they have a conversation, whether it's on a phone call, like the call center, or video meetings like over Zoom, et cetera, which people within the company do, AI now has the power to be a co-pilot to every employee in the enterprise and deliver efficiency and other business benefits. We've been at the forefront of this. Today, we serve 1,500 enterprises around the world. We're a global company. We do this in over 20 countries and support over 100 global languages. So we've really seen the spectrum of how the, the latest state-of-the-art AI, including generative AI, is able to work within large enterprise environments and really deliver value. AI is really embedded in your genes. You've been an early mover from the start in the world of AI, which is really a significant advantage now with the AI boom. How does Unifor specifically use generative AI? So we've been a native AI company from the very beginning. All our products have been built on a common platform, which have tremendous amount of power of AI, several building blocks. Um, we think of them as Lego blocks of technology. One of them is generative AI. We've been using large language models, which is the underlying technology to these generative AI models since 2019 in our products. We use them in areas like our AI can detect sentiment of when people are talking to each other, depending on the words and their tones. So we use large language models and generative AI to detect somebody's sentiment. When a customer is calling a telecom company's contact center, the customer may not be a native English speaker. So our AI models detect first up what language are they speaking in? So language detection is an area where we use generative uh, models. But more importantly, what we've learned of you know, having deployed these for the last three or four years is that one of the biggest downsides of today's uh, generative AI models is they require a lot of compute and a lot of infrastructure. And you don't need to spin up every time you have a certain application of AI in the organization. You don't need to spin up the biggest model all the time. So we've found the best tailor-made approaches of what works best for which type of use cases. And like I said, we today have over 725,000 end users who speak over 100 languages who use and get benefit of these generative AI models every day from Uniforce products. That's incredible. I think it's really interesting. You mentioned the emotional intelligence piece. It really helps drive businesses and drive smarter business decisions in that sense. Absolutely. Let me give you an example. Think about, you know, in the new world where we all went hybrid or remote work and you're trying to now be a salesperson and sell to new customers and they assemble a team over a Zoom call or a WebEx call or Teams, they assemble a team of eight or 10 people. Your presentation is on the screen. As a salesperson, how do you read the room? How do you know what you're saying is making sense to the audience? How are they reacting? Do they have a question? Should I clarify something? When everybody was in person, Doing this by watching each other's facial emotions, et cetera, was very easy. Now in the virtual or a hybrid world, it's really hard. This is where AI becomes a true co-pilot with emotion AI being one of the fields that we are at the forefront of, where it's not just watching every participant who's a small window, it's watching facial reactions, facial emotions. It's paying attention to what's being said by the salesperson and giving instant cues to the presenter that, you know what, you're probably losing your audience. You probably want to slow down and clarify this one point. Those are real life examples that we are seeing work within the enterprise. Absolutely. And the time spent, I saw on your website that the time spent for post-call work has reduced 50% due to Unifor. Well, one of the biggest applications we see for employees, 75% uh, of the time spent by salespeople inside of a company is a non-sales activity, which means they're filling up a form, they're entering data into a, in, into a software. Same thing with call center workers. There are 15 million call center workers around the world. And when you and I are done talking to them, whether the call was good or bad, they are still working on our case. So they spend another few minutes after the call is hung up in summarizing the call, writing up notes into the system, et cetera. Those are perfect examples where today AI can automate 
tasks and put the time back into the employee's hands and they can do more effective work. And they can focus on the selling piece. Absolutely. You take the heavy lifting off. Aside from generative AI, how else is AI incorporated in Unifor? Well, what we realized uh, in working with these enterprises, the fuel to this rocket ship called AI is data. And while generative AI has shown the way that you can train these models on large amounts of publicly available data and show up to deliver value, in a B2B situation, in an enterprise situation, you also need to take into account the company's own data. But the biggest hurdle we found is that these companies don't have data in all one place, whether it's a telecom company or a bank, their data is in silos, their data is unstructured. So knowledge AI is an equally important field of AI that focuses on taking siloed data into one place, converting unstructured data to data, structured data, and then making it readily available for a generative AI model to take shape. We just spoke of emotion AI in addition to generative AI, which is focusing on sentiment, tonal changes, facial emotions. So think about knowledge AI, generative AI, emotion AI working in tandem on a phone call, on a video meeting, and truly being a co-pilot to every employee in the enterprise. Wow, that's incredible. You're staying ahead of the curve in that sense and hitting all the, all the points. Well, our goal is to get our customers, the 1,500 enterprise and end clients that we work with every day, to get them prepared for this huge revolution that's generative AI. We at Unifor believe that this is a technology transition that is likely to be bigger than the cloud, the mobile, and even the internet. And we want to make sure all our customers, current and prospect, are prepared for, for what's about to come and change the way we work, live, and play. You're definitely doing that, essentially acting as an extension of their team. Absolutely. Um, what sets Unifor apart from your competitors? Well, first, the fact that we've been doing this as a native AI company for the last 15 years. We have deployed our products in 13 different industry types across these 1,500 customers. And that has given us a, a data repository, a data lake of learnings that we've had, that the AI model has had through all of these experiences. And while the algorithms, the research work that our data scientists and PhDs have been doing has given us an edge, what's given us a bigger edge is all this data lake that has been accumulated over time through these customers. And we truly believe that the differentiation in the future, the way to build better value for customers in the future is by having more access to more relevant and exclusive data sets. And so that is one of the value propositions. So today when we show up, to a new telecom customer or a new banking customer, we are able to say that, listen, we don't need six months to take your data and model on it and learn from it. We are coming with rich history and learning from customers like yourselves. Of course, we need some of your data, but in a matter of 30 to 60 days, you can start to gain benefit from generative AI, which is truly a differentiator that some of the other companies today are not able to offer. You're enabling and empowering your customers to really own those conversations. Absolutely. That's incredible. As CEO of an AI-driven company, what are you most excited about with the new AI boom and where can we see this industry going in five to 10 years? Well, first, the, I correlate this in the early 2000s with the internet revolution. And then in the 2010s, mobile happened and cloud happened. Those were big technology shifts that changed the course of economy. What we are going through now with the forefront uh, of generative AI, et cetera, is a technology transition that is likely to be much bigger than the waves we've seen in the past, including the internet. So it's gonna impact B2C application like search engines, and we're beginning to see that. It's gonna massively impact B2B environments. As an example, I'm a soft CEO of a software company at Unifor, and we believe that in two to three years, vast majority of the new code that today our engineers write will not be written by engineers. Our engineers will speak to the code in English and it'll be AI writing the code. So think about the efficiency that a software company like Unifor can have. If you're a bank, if you're a telecom company, if you're a healthcare company, many different functions today that are manual and repetitive are gonna get automated and more intelligent with AI. And what this will lead to is higher value new types of jobs, while the current ones will be taken on by automation. It's opening up doors to new opportunities. So it's truly, truly an exciting time. 
and the opportunity in front of us is very profound. We're very excited too, and we're excited to continue following your journey as you continue to grow. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.